Hello, Blue Devil Nation, and welcome to the Clarkson School of Discovery Virtual Awards Ceremony for Athletics. We're very sad that we could not do this in person, but we're happy that we can come together in this way to recognize all of our outstanding student athletes. So at this time, we would like to begin our award ceremony with Coach Robert Mazur and football. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Appreciate you joining us here today. Um, here to talk about the 2019 football season. Um, 2019 was a year of big games. We either won big or unfortunately we either lost big. Uh, we won games 30 to 20, 32 to six, and 30 to nine. But we lost games 34 to 14 and 40 to zero. And um, bad thing about that was we lost our very first game, ripped off three in a row, and then we lost our last game. But uh, we finished with a three and two record, uh, two and two in the conference. But CSD, we scored 106 points this year in the football season and gave up um, 109 in those five games. So yeah, we still got a lot of work to put in, but uh, we're gonna get it there. At this time, I would like to read the names of the participants on our football team each player will receive a participation uh, award here. And the first player I'd like to recognize, Lee Barnes, Jaden Beatty, Mason Brooks, Elijah Kane, Justin Daniels, Willie Graham, Noah Hall, Jaleel Hayes, Jordan Hester, Jonathan Johnson, Matthew Kemp, Rodney Lacewell, Keon McCoy, Malachi Moore, Rayshon Reavy, Noah Rogers, Kelsey Robinson, Kaheem Shaw, Tony Todd, Stephen Walker, Isaiah Williamson, Corey Wright. And again, those were the players on our football team for 2019. Moving right along, the first certificates that I want to read off are for all conference. Um, this is all conference, welcome all conference football. The first player that made all conference off the 2019 Blue Devil team was our quarterback and cornerback, Lee Barnes. Congratulations to Lee. Our second person to make all conference is Mason Brooks. Congratulations to Mason. Our third athlete is Jordan Hester. Congratulations to Jordan. And our fourth player to make all conference was Matthew Kim. Congratulations, Matthew. Now, for what you've all been waiting for, the individual awards. <coughs> The first award I want to award goes out for most valuable player on offense. That person is Lee Barnes. Lee played quarterback and did an outstanding job displaying poise and leadership, especially when the pressure was on. This young man has an unbelievable drive and work ethic for competition and it shows on the field. He led his team to three victories with his offense averaging 30.6 points per game. Congratulations, Lee. Lee accounted for 32 of our 106 points. His game high was 10 in the Williams game. He had three touchdowns, seven two-point conversions. When we needed a cornerback on defense, Lee stepped up. He had never played defense before. Needless to say, he adjusted well, becoming a fierce, hard-hitting competitor that love to lower the boom on the competition. And again, congratulations, Lee. Moving on, most valuable player for defense. This award goes to Mason Brooks. Mason led his defense by playing middle linebacker and defensive end, both not at the same time. It was wherever we needed him. Uh, he would absolutely pound the offensive ball carrier on every opportunity. Mason led the defense in tackles and sacks. Mason's strength, speed, and pure athleticism made him a force to be reckoned with on both sides of the ball. 
On offense, Mason ran fullback, leading the way for his other running backs or reaching pay dirt for himself. Either way, this young man loved contact. Congratulations, Mason. And last but not least, my coach's award. This award goes out to a kid that gave his heart on every play, and that kid is Matt Kemp. Very nice young man. Matt played halfback on offense and quarterback on defense. Matt was the workhorse on offense, and he would get the yards when he needed it. He averaged at least 10 to 12 carries a game and accounted for 26 points and three touchdowns and four, point, uh, four two-point conversions. And he blew up Delco in one game, scoring 18 by himself. That was in our 30-point victory. Matt's speed and quickness made him hard to catch on offense and hard to block on defense. Matt was known as a shutdown defender. He always hustled on both sides of the ball and never seemed to get tired. Congratulations, Matt Kemp. Next up will be our girls soccer coach, Miss Jordan Rayner. I'm Coach Rayner and I'm going to be presenting the girls soccer awards. We finished the season as conference co-champions with an 8-1 overall record and a 7-1 record in conference play. And in nine games, we scored 40 goals and only allowed nine goals to be scored on us. To say we had a great season would be an understatement. Also, as a side note, we have a team of 15 girls and 11 of them scored at least one goal this season. So it's safe to say that I had a team full of heart and sportsmanship. Um, my team members were Addie Bowen, Danielle Cotton, Lena Damasco Trinidad, Molly Evans, Riley Garrison, Traviana Gaskins, Reese Hester, Savannah Howell, Emma McDuffie, Jolene Merritt, Reagan Moore, Shanadra Richardson, Eileen Rojas, Mackenzie Storms, and Shania Thurman. My all-conference selections for this season were uh, Miss Addie Bowen, Miss Lena Damasco Trinidad, Miss Molly Evans, and Miss Mackenzie Storms. And for the major awards, I would like to start with um, two young ladies who scored a combined 21 goals of the 40 total goals that we scored all season. Every time these girls hustled up and down the field without complaint, and I'm proud to award co-MVP of offense to Miss Addie Bowen, who had 10 goals and four assists, and Miss Molly Evans, who had 11 goals and four assists this season. Congratulations, ladies. Um, next, everyone always assumes in soccer that the goalie is the one in complete control of goals scored on her team, but that isn't true. There are defenders and a defensive mid that also help protect the backfield. Sometimes other teams also try to look at the size of a player and determine the strength and endurance of their opponents, assuming the smaller the player, the weaker. However, this isn't true either. We played a total of 450 minutes of soccer this past season, and our defensive mid never missed a minute of play. She played the entire game and quite honestly never seemed tired. She has so much strength and such a little body, always surprising our opponents with her ninja superpowers. I'm proud to award Miss Lena Damasco Trinidad as our MVP of defense. The next award winner is a young lady who was new to soccer this past season, but you wouldn't have known that by watching her play. She came out at every game and gave 100% no matter where she was asked to play. She's a great athlete and I have enjoyed coaching her this year. The Hustle Award goes to Miss Traviana Gaskins. In my opinion, the Coach's Award should go to someone who is a leader on their team, someone who has a positive attitude and always pushes her teammates to be their best, and who always does what is best for the team at the end of the day. This next young lady embodies all of those qualities and more. I've had the pleasure of being her soccer coach for three years at Clarkton, and she's grown so much from her sixth to eighth grade years in her abilities. She displays sportsmanship and is always willing to take one for the team. The Coach's Award goes to Miss Reese Hester. The final award I'm giving is for most improved. There are two young ladies that deserve this award for the amount of growth they've shown on the field from year to year. The first young lady has been on the team for three years and if you have watched us play, you probably wouldn't have recognized her this past season. She went from being a shy defender in sixth grade to I'll try midfield but I like playing defender in seventh grade to I'll play goal in eighth grade. I must admit, I thought she was joking but that girl has skill. Her tenacious spirit and competitive drive made her a force to be reckoned with in the goal. 
By the way, she only allowed four goals in conference play. Our first most improved award goes to Miss Mackenzie Storms. The second most improved award goes to a young lady who joined the team during her seventh grade year and has shown so much heart and growth from her seventh to eighth grade seasons. She was shy and didn't have a lot of confidence on the field during her seventh grade season, but this past season she showed out. She has been so much fun to coach and I'm so proud of her hard work and strength that she's gained with that left foot. The, mo the second most improved award goes to Miss Emma McDuffie. And next we will have Coach Callahan with volleyball. All right, everybody, uh, the 2019 uh, Lady Blue Devils volleyball team was made up of uh, Cabrilla Baldwin, Trinity Baldwin, Addie Bowen, Molly Evans, Treviana Gaskins, Brenna Hester, Emma McDuffie, Shanidra Richardson, Mackenzie Storms, Lena Trinidad, Diamond Robinson, Emmy Ward, and Lacey Young. So with this team, I did not have a single starter from the previous season, yet we were still able to finish the season uh, four, uh, excuse me, 10 and four, and a solid second place uh, behind Nakina, and Nakina just was undefeated. They were playing a different sport from everybody else. They were, uh, so I, I think that that second place finish is a is a great place. Uh, I think the ladies did a tremendous job. Um, my all conference performers are Miss Addie Bowen, Miss Diamond Robinson, and Miss Lacey Young. Now Lacey did something in the uh, fourth game of the season that I'd never seen done. I've been coaching volleyball for 25 years, and that's the first time I ever seen anybody. She was our uh, she she was our leading uh, server. She started off. She was in the number one position, and she started us off every game. And she was able to score 25 points in a row uh, as we defeated uh, Tabor City 25 to nothing in the uh, first set. Um, just unbelievable. She just kept them coming. Um, The trophies that I would like to give, the trophy that I would like to give is just the MVP. That's all I'm going to give. And that MVP goes to a young lady who is a leader on, on the court and off the court. She is just, you know, she didn't play in the seventh grade. There was an uh, injury, something going on. She came back. She played in the sixth grade, come back in the eighth grade. Um, just a tremendous athlete, a tremendous young lady in the classroom in the locker room, on the bus, uh, at practice, in the games, everywhere I needed her to show up, she showed up. And I am proud to announce that the MVP for the 2019 Lady Blue Devils volleyball team is Miss Addie Bowen. Okay? And next up, we will go to uh, Miss Morrison and the cheerleaders. Hey, y'all. I'm Miss Morrison. I'm the coach for the uh, Blue Devils cheer team. Um, I, we had basketball and football uh, cheer squad, so I'm going to read out the names of all my cheerleaders. This team was, this was a first for me, my first year ever. This team is filled with a lot of leaders, a lot of just genuine girls that are willing to help. So I'm going to read those off. Megan Bird, Molly Evans, Lakin Fowler, Riley Garrison, Emily Gorgitsky, Kanaya Harrison, Reagan Hester, Savannah Howell, Naheema Leach, Layla Lent, Emily Lewis, Addison Long, Emma McDuffie, Diamond Robinson, Tegan Smith, Mackenzie Storms, Janaya Wells, Lacey Young, and that is it. So, I had um, all conference, there's two ladies for all conference, Diamond Robinson and Lacey Young, okay? I'm gonna get into the individual awards. Coaches Award, um, these ladies showed tremendous leadership, dependable, 
willing to help others and myself, and just all around team players. That would be Diamond Robinson and Lacey Young. Most valuable player for football is Lacey Young. Most valuable player for basketball, Emma McDuffie. Most improved. These two girls were always willing to do better, no matter what. They were constantly working on cheers, just always wanting to be the best they could be. Mackenzie Storms and Nahima Leach. And last but not least, most spirited is going to Janaya Wells. She was our girl that would get the whole squad involved. I called her my hype woman because I just knew she was gonna just make sure the girls were always on their P's and Q's. But that is it, and I hope all my eighth graders, I hope you have a tremendous year in high school next year and a great summer. Hey, I'm Coach Rainer again, and I'm going to be talking about our boys' soccer season. Um, we finished the season with a 5-3 and three record, which was surprising with our series of unfortunate events during the season, including an injur injured veteran defender, <laughs> Jake Cottrell, who was out for half of our season. But we got him a bubble wrap with his cast, and he was able to join us. Um, however, the other veteran players took our newest additions to the team and put them to work. It was definitely a year of rebuilding and learning new positions, including goalie. But like always, the boys pulled together and we had a good season. Um, the members of the team were Lee Barnes, Mason Brooks, Elijah Kane, Deshaun Campbell, Chris Cromarty, Dejour Davis, Garrett Dunham, Jake Futrell, Jordan Hester, Matthew Kemp, Joshua Lennon, Jair McLevine, Riley McIntyre, Clayton Moore, and Finesse Shipman. Our all-conference award winners for boys soccer this year were Lee Barnes, Garrett Dunham, and Matthew Kemp. So my first major award goes to a young man that is so athletically talented. I don't know that I've quite met any, anyone like him before, but that's a good thing. He joined the team this past season for the first time and took on a position most people would run from. He had never played goalie before, but watching him this year, you would have never known. The poor guy was also faced with three shootout situations, and one of which ended um, in sudden death at Acme Delco. I know that was such a great way to be introduced to goalkeeping. Um, but he never once showed fear or lack of confidence, and he only allowed five goals in regulation play, and he is truly a team player. Our defensive MVP award goes to Mr. Lee Barnes. The next young man led the team in scoring with 10 of our 18 goals scored. He is a veteran player and a true athlete. When I say he can turn on the wheels, he is no joke. He is super fast. He played left forward most of the season and was such a great asset to our team. I'm proud to have coached such a respectful and talented young man. The offensive MVP award goes to Mr. Matt Kemp. And the final two young men that are the center of our team, literally. They both run the middle of the field, one on offense and one on defense. They are both team leaders on the field and push their teammates to perform their best in every game. I'm so thankful that I get to coach them for one more year and I've thoroughly enjoyed watching them develop their skill and strength on the soccer field the past two years. The coaches' awards go to Mr. Garrett Dunham and Mr. Joshua Lennon. And next we will have Coach Callahan with girls basketball. All right, uh, members of the 2019-2020 Lady Blue Devils basketball team are Cabrilla Baldwin, Addie Bowen, Molly Evans, Treviana Gaskins, Kanaya Hairston, Brenna Hester, Milani McDowell, Gabby Neely, Shaisia Ratliff, Shanidra Richardson, Zaira Ripley, Emmy Ward, and Alea White. Uh, this year's basketball team finished the season with a record of seven and two and finished in first place. And it came right down to the very last game here at Clarkton uh, against Hallsboro. Hallsboro had beaten us earlier in the year 29 to 21. And it played out right down to the final seconds of the game. Um, but we were able to hang on and beat Hallsboro 21 to 20 uh, to secure the conference championship. Our all-conference performers are Addie Bowen, Molly Evans, Shaisia Ratliff, and Alea White. 
Now those last two, Shaijah and Aleah, combined for almost two thirds of our total points for the year. Um, Shaijah had 84 of 257, and Aleah had 78 of 257. Um, my award, my MVP award, is going to is something I've never done before. Um, came in sixth grader, ball handling is phenomenal. I've only seen three or four girls ever who could handle the ball the way she could at that young age. And she had a nice little shot to go along with it. She played decent defense. She was able to get up and down the court. Um, I just hope that winning this award will encourage her to continue on and to do better and better uh, because she is at the very beginning of her journey in basketball and I hope that it makes a difference because it could make a difference in her life. My MVP is Miss Alea White. Thank you. Uh, next up, Mr. Robert Mazur with Boys Basketball. Hey, Coach Mazur here again. This time I'm talking about the 2019-2020 season of boys basketball here at Clarkman. Our basketball team this year went 7-3 and three and finished 5-3 and three in the conference. The first thing I would like to do is recognize our players who were on the basketball team. Team members were Lee Barnes, Deshaun Campbell, Chris Cromarty, Aiden Hargrove, Noah Hall, Jonathan Johnson, Matthew Kemp, Rodney Lacewell, Sherman Long, Keon McCoy, Blaine Pope, Rayshon Reeby. Okay, our athletes that made all conference this year, congratulations to Lee Barnes and Rodney Lacewell. Congratulations again, guys. Give you a little information about the season. Clarkton this year, we scored 420 points. That's been a season high since I've been coaching here. And we only gave up 360 points in 10 games. We averaged 42 points a game. And unfortunately, we lost our first game by 25, so we really didn't know what to expect. We knew we had a lot of good basketball players, and we worked hard, and it paid off because we ripped off seven victories in a row winning by margins of 11, 9, 1, 31, 4, 15, 23. And one of those victories was a county championship, which we're very proud of. Our average margin of victory was 13.4 points per game. Unfortunately, um, we finished the season, we lost our last two games by only margins of three and six. And honestly, we felt like we should have won our conference, but fate was just not on our side this year. But I'm very proud of our boys and, and what they did get accomplished. Moving on to our individual awards. The first award I would like to give out is our MVP on offense. And that award goes to our power forward, Lee Barnes. Lee held a hot hand all year long, averaging 20.7 points per game. Lee had game highs of 12, 14, 24, 23, 34, 14, 23, 21, 10, and 19. He accounted for 207 points of our 420 points scored. Needless to say, he was our scoring leader in all 10 games. Lee was also a terrific rebounder on both ends of the floor, as well as a great defender. When it came down to crunch time, we could always depend on Lee to deliver. Congratulations, Lee. Moving on to defense, my most valuable player on defense was our center, Rodney Lacewell. Rodney was our rim protector, a huge presence in the paint. Nothing Rodney liked more than blocking shots. If Rodney wasn't blocking shots, he was making offenders change their path and delivery to the basket. Either way, they were going to pay the price for coming inside and challenging the big man. Rodney was not only a defensive president on the court, but he was also an offensive threat. Rodney scored in all 10 games, totaling 63 points on the season, with multiple game highs of 10. The bottom line is, Rodney really stepped up his game this year. Congratulations, Rodney. 
And now moving on to the coach's award. The coach, the recipient of the coach's award this year only scored 22 points in 8 out of 10 games. He only averaged 2.2 points per game, but his leadership and attitude stood head and shoulders above most others, and that's what a person in that position is expected to do. This young man, his motor never stopped running. His competitive nature and drive was infectious. He encouraged and inspired and expected others to always give 100%. Needless to say, he was a team player, never selfish, and always willing to hustle on both ends of the court. But most of all, he was always willing to listen. And that's the key. And this year's recipient of the Coach's Award goes to my point guard, Blaine Pope. Congratulations, Blaine. Thank you. So there you have it. Congratulations to all the award winners and all who participated in the sports this year. We are very proud of you and congratulate you all. The award certificates, the trophies, everything can be picked up here at the school when you drop off your Chromebook. Uh, if you have any questions, just give us a call. I hope you all have a great summer and go Blue Devils.